Hello, in this tutorial we will use input boxes to ask the user a question and then take their input, their text input, and use it on a web page. So, we're going to use um, something that's called an input box or a prompt and um, the message that we'll be, uh, we'll be asking is for the user to enter their name and the name will then be displayed in the browser but only if a name is entered. So we start on line 15 uh, with our JavaScript inside the script tags and we create a new variable which is called name and name is equal to prompt please enter your name and enter name here. Now basically we use the prompt message here to have a prompt uh, message box or an input um, box and then the message that will be displayed is please enter your name and where we have a comma and then another string here which says enter name here that is the default value that will be filled in the text box where you'll type your name into. Okay, so this please enter your name will be above the text box and enter name here will be in the text box. You can leave this completely blank and instead of providing two arguments you can provide just one and that is to just have a, a little message above the text box that says please enter your name. So you don't have to have a default value inside the text box. We end that line with a semicolon and then from line 16 we have an if statement which is if name is not equal to null which basically means if the name is not empty. So if name is not equal to null then message will be equal to hello plus the name that has been entered in the text box plus an exclamation mark, a space, and then how are you today. And then on line 19 we have document.write message, so it will display this message as a paragraph on the text, on the web page. Okay, and that's the end of the code. So if we run this in our browser, here is the prompt message box or input box. It says please enter your name and then the default value there is just enter name here. So type your name in, click on OK and then that message will be displayed on the web page. So it's taken hello, it's joined the, na uh, the na name that's been taken from that prompt box and then it's also added an exclamation mark and how are you today. And that's an example of concatenating or joining strings together. All right. So that is how to use an input box or a prompt box and they can be a little bit irritating for users so only use them when absolutely necessary. There are other ways that are um, better ways of getting input from the user such as forms so I encourage you to use those methods instead of using a prompt box. Thanks for watching.